Fairlawn Police Department, Chief Glenn Cowles, Honor Guard Commander Robert Kinnear. To the members of our police department, we thank you for serving and protecting our community and keeping us safe. Bergen County Sheriff's Department. The governing body of the Great Borough Fairlawn, Mayor John J. Cosgrove, Deputy Mayor Amy Lefkowitz, Deputy Mayor Daniel Benet, Council Member Lisa Swain, Council Member Kurt Peluso. Senator Robert Gordon, Assemblyman Tim Eustace, Assemblyman Joe Logano, thank you for attending. Congressman Scott Garrett, thank you for attending. From the Bergen County Board of Chosen Freeholders, Freeholder, David Gans. Bergen County Surrogate, Michael Dressler. From our Fairlawn Board of Education, Superintendent of Schools, Bruce Watson. Our Board of Education, President, Eugene Banta. Vice President, Mary Wallace. Members, Michael Rosenberg, Elise Frankel, Joan Paella, Jeffrey Klein, Ron Barbarulo, Mark Spindell, and Cindy Jo Quackenbush. The Fairlawn High School Band, under the direction of Jamie Seisenberg. Now welcome the Grand Marshal of the 2016 Memorial Day Parade, William Rudy Williamson, American Legion, Post 171. Rudy Williamson. Your parade commander who's joined us on the stage, Colonel Jack O'Neill. The officer of the day, Sergeant Nick Magarelli, United States Air Force. <laughs> Deputy officer of the day, Step 4, Nicole Chrysler, United States Army.
and to all our veterans, to the veterans and to all the men and women who are currently serving here and abroad, we salute you and thank you for your respect and honor and for your courage, your bravery, dedication, and commitment to our country. Thank you, veterans, for your service. Again, to our veterans, we thank you for your service to the country. Fairlawn Rotary Club, President Todd Malkin, serving Fairlawn and beyond since 1948. The Fairlawn Rotary Club provides services, initiates projects, donates goods, offers materials, and generally will lend a hand to people in need. We thank you for your fine work and continued service to our community. Sunrise Rotary Club, Rich Seibel, President. The Sunrise Rotary is dedicated to serving our community through fundraisers and hands-on projects which enhance the lives of our school children, volunteers, and residents of Fairlawn and throughout Bergen County. We thank you for your exceptional work and continued service to our community. Fairlawn Volunteer Ambulance Corps, Chief Dara Mullen. Columbia Bank. Columbia Bank has and is committed to serving the needs of our community through sponsorships and support funding of all programs. We'd like to thank Columbia for sponsoring the refreshments today for all parade participants. To our ambulance corps, we thank you for volunteering and providing day-to-day -day life saving services and contributing to the health, safety, and well-being of us all. Thank you to the men and women of the Fairlawn Volunteer Ambulance Corps. The Fairlawn Radio Club, Amateur Radio Club, serving the borough of Fairlawn for 60 years. Thank you to the members of the Fairlawn Amateur Radio Club.
the New York Skyliners alumni band under the direction of Lou Marcello, New York Skyliners alumni band. Fairlawn Rescue Squad, Chief Peter Euskaitis, Captain Phil Carney, to all the members of our rescue squad, we thank you for your service and dedication and for volunteering to serve our community. Fairlawn Auxiliary Police, Chief Mick Magarelli, Sergeant Howard Schlesinger. For the members of our Auxiliary Police Department, we again thank you for assisting our police department by volunteering to protect and serve our community and keeping us safe. The Fairlawn Fire Department Honor Guard. Fairlawn Volunteer Fire Department, Chief Timothy Skytus, Assistant Fire Chief Ralph Ronaldo, Deputy Fire Chief Mark Palmieri, and Battalion Fire Chief Jacob Mamo. 
to the members of our Fairlawn Volunteer Fire Department. We thank you for your service, sacrifice, dedication, and for volunteering to serve our community. the Fairlawn Community Emergency Response Team, Community Emergency Response Team Leader, Nancy Broca. To the members of our Community Emergency Response Team, we thank you for volunteering to serve our community. Fusion Core Drum and Bugle Corps under the direction of Ralph Marino.
the Fusion for Drum and Bugle Corps. Thank you. Fairlawn Boy and Cub Scout Troop. Cub Scout Pack 45, Jess Hansen, Cubmaster. Cub Scout Pack 53, Troy Knudsen, Cubmaster. Troop number 53, Peter Marks, Scoutmaster. Boy Scout Troop number 60, Joe Monona, Scoutmaster. Thank 
Troop nine six zero five zero. Troop nine six three nine five. Group nine four eight zero one. Nine four two four. Troop nine five four two four. Troop nine six four one two. Nine five four one three. Right. Troop nine five four one six. And troop nine five four four four. Which what troop? What troop? Ten forty. Troop one zero four zero. The New York Skyliners Band, under the direction of Michelle Fadden.
York Skyliners Band. Thank you. Association was established in 1974 and enrolls over 300 children, ranging from ages 5 to 13 years old. Fairlawn Football and Cheerleading Association. Organization, Joan Goldstein, leader.
Street Shutters Band. Deluca! Mayor Law Chamber of Commerce, Jack Donahue, President. Since 1954, the Fairlawn Chamber of Commerce has worked with the borough and other entities to stimulate business development and to improve the quality of life. With dedicated volunteerism and contributions from a large number of local business leaders and entities make this possible. We thank you for your excellent work and continued service to our community. The Cosmos Club, Ed Salvi, President. The Cosmos Club is an Italian-American cultural, social, and civic organization that has been in Fairlawn since the early 1950s. They promote good citizenship and an active civic interest in the municipal fairs of Fairlawn. Right, The Fairlawn Knights of Pythias, Doug Schripper, Chancellor Commander. The Knights of Pythias since 1951, the Cardozo Lodge is truly a story of dedication, hard work, and great success in the name of friendship, charity, and benevolence. Their mission is to provide men of character the opportunity to help those in need. They now have the largest membership and are the most active Pythian Lodge in the state of New Jersey. We thank you for your exceptional work and continued service to the Borough of Fairlawn. St. Anne's Church and Holy Name Society, Sal Scaldone, President. Our Savior Lutheran Church, Pastor Derek Taylor. The Next Gen Soccer Camp, Sung An, President.
members of the All-American Corvette Club and the Natural Blast Corvette Association. Most of the day, give your units order arms and parade rest. <laughs> Pastor David Moon of the Van Riper Ellis Broadway Baptist Church will give the invocation. Pastor Moon. Almighty God, as we gather on this day, we are so thankful for so many who have been willing to pay that price for each one of us. And I pray that each one of us and all of those that make up this great nation would understand how important their sacrifice was, that the freedoms that we enjoy today are because of each and every one of them. Freedom is not free. Freedom comes with a high cost. But we're so thankful for those who are willing to pay that cost. May we never forget them and ever remember their great, great sacrifice and gift to us. And we pray this in your holy name. Amen. I thank you, Pastor Boone. Pastor Boone is himself a veteran and also a chaplain of the Fairlawn Police Department. Uh, at this time, I would invite uh, Freeholder David Gans to address us. Freeholder Gans, former mayor as well. Thank you, Colonel. Good afternoon. Pastor Boone has stolen my remarks by saying that the price of freedom is not free. It's not. I speak on behalf of the Board of Chosen Freeholders and tell you that on this Memorial Day, we give honor and praise to those who have made the supreme sacrifice, but we don't give homage that's due to those veterans who have committed suicide as a large result of their service and post-traumatic stress syndrome. My own son, Scott, is among them. So as this Memorial Day draws to a close, we dedicate this to them and to you and say, God bless you all and God bless America. I thank you for your hold again. And I, I want to recognize our, our Mayor, John Cosgrove. Thank you, Colonel. Before I uh, have some remarks, Colonel, I have a special presentation here from Congressman Scott Garrett. We have a flag here that has flown over the United States Capitol, and uh, our Congressman Scott Garrett wants this to be uh, presented to you in honor of all fair ones, fallen heroes today on Memorial Day. So, Colonel, I leave this flag for you and the other members of the Veterans Council. I want to thank all of you for being here today on this day of remembrance. And I also want to thank Pastor Boone, because yesterday when we were in the cemetery during the veterans service, I asked him to uh, pray for good weather. So Pastor Boone is really in good with the Lord, and I want to thank him especially from uh, all of us. 
On behalf of myself, Deputy Mayor Lefkowitz, Deputy Mayor Dunay, Councilwoman Swain, and Councilman Peluso, we want to thank all of you for remembering our veterans. Each one of the monuments that stand before you represent the 47 men who left Fairlawn as young men and went to foreign countries and fought for our freedom and never returned. Today, we remember them, we thank them, we think of their families, and we hope that we will never have to add another monument to this circle. So God bless all of them, and may God bless America. Today, I have a very, very special honor of introducing a young man who I'm very familiar with. His name is Mark Palermo who is our Chief Financial Officer in the borough, Karen Palermo's son. Mark entered a Patriots Pens Essay Contest sponsored by the VFW. Mark's essay placed first at the local level and then was submitted to the district competition where he again played one first place in the district competition. Mark's essay was then submitted to the state and once again, he came in first place. His essay was then submitted to the national competition, and out of 160,000 essays, Mark's essay placed 22nd in the nation. However, in Fairlawn, in Fairlawn, his essay will always be number one. We are pleased and fortunate to have Mark here today to read his multi-award winning essay, What Freedom Means to Me. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Palermo. Thank you, Mayor Cosgrove, for inviting me here today to honor our veterans. What freedom means to me. I want to share with you the day I learned what freedom means to me. I did not learn it in school. I did not learn the meaning of freedom the day I opened a dictionary and looked for the word freedom, I learned it one fourth of July. It was early in the morning and I went with my family to see the Independence Day Parade. It was a beautiful day. Everyone was happy and having a good time. We were yelling and, sc and screaming and clapping at the police cars, the fire engines, the marching bands, the cheerleaders, jumping and throwing their batons into the air. There was a group of veterans marching behind our flag. They were wearing shiny white uniforms and colorful hats. Then I saw him. Among them, there was a young man in his green uniform. On his chest, he wore pins of different colors and one or two medals. I liked that he was young and that his uniform was cool. Suddenly, I saw that his sleeve was tucked in his pants. I gasped for air as I realized he was missing his right arm. I felt a sharp pain in the pit of my stomach, and my eyes filled up with tears. Passing right in front of me was someone who was wounded to protect me, and he didn't even know me. For a moment, I thought, a freedom worth his sacrifice is a freedom worthy of my respect. How can I travel freely in this beautiful country, go to the school of my choice, enjoy a walk in the park with my family, and worship any god or nun without thinking of the thousands and thousands of men and women who made this possible? I play in the park. I laugh with my friends. I hug my mom and my dad. Normal things for you and me, but things that kids in other countries cannot do. And yet every night I go to bed assured that tomorrow again I will play. Maybe tonight, just tonight, as I kneel and pray, I will remember the brave young soldier whose fear and courage, whose sacrifice today will make it possible for me tomorrow to travel, to walk, to smile, to laugh, to play. A freedom worth their sacrifice is a freedom worthy of my respect. Thank you, Mark. I think Mark sums up what the meaning of Memorial Day really is for all of us. So thank you, Mark. Yeah, thank you very much. And I oh, thank you, Mark, because we have come to realize 
and serving people like you has made it worthwhile. You are our future, and we have, and we will rely upon you and and your generation. And we want to thank you very much. Also today, conduct the placing of the reeds. Post commander will assemble the uh, veterans organizations to place the first wreath, set of wreaths, and other uh, fellow organizations will be placing, will be following up with the uh, second. The Federal uh, Veterans Representative American Legion, Commander Jack Delaney, and uh, Catholic War Veterans will also be uh, uh, Sal Scaldone, Veterans of Foreign Wars, Robert Alcar, and the Jewish War Veterans, Mel Kaplan. The following organizations will be placing the wreaths. The Fairlawn Rescue Squad, Chief Peter Euskaitis, and Captain Phil Carney. <coughs> Fairlawn Ambulance Corps, Chief Jarrell Mullen, Assistant Chief Nick Schultz. Fairlawn Fire Department, Chief Tim Euskaitis, Assistant Chief Ralph Rinaldo. Fairlawn Police Department, Chief Clinton Collins and Captain Robert Kinnear. Fairlawn Police Auxiliary, Sergeant Howard Schlesing. Fairlawn Emergency Management, <clears throat> OEM Coordinator Wendy Alvarez and Deputy OEM Coordinator Jim Ben Kroenigan. Knights of Fifties, Chancellor Commander Doug Who's a river? Cosmos Club, President Ed Salvi, and the Ladies Auxiliary President Estelle Valenani. St. Anne's Holy Name Society, Estelle and Maurice Galdone. Sunrise Rotary, President Rich Seibel. <coughs> the wreaths are also being placed by the Boy Scouts of Fairlawn and the Girl Scouts of Fairlawn.
Then they place it with the rest of them. All right, place it. Officer of the day, position the commanders around the inner circle. Past Veterans Council Chairman Jack Delaney will now call the roll of Farron's War Dead. World War I, Harry Kopendike, Daniel S. Yeomans, Charles Meshner, World War II, Ellsworth Smith, William M. Kozai, James I. Platt, Charles Panelin, William D. Young, Andrew Diagenzo, Richard Drager, James V. Gastella, Maynard N. Reese, Edward Bravit, William McFadden, Rene Van Den Dries, Andrew Terwerbach, Roger Lawn, Frank J. Gennaro, William Hody, John Telechow, John P. Gomez, John P. Fernandez, uh, excuse me, John P. Ferrara, Wilmer Lyons, John A. Fraga, Stephen J. Lakowski, Alexander G. Hasak, Gordon R. Tomei Jr., Albert Montek, Theodore E. Elderling Jr., Vincent K. Scanlon, Albert J. Coccio, Bruce H. Bodie, John Hallam, Theodore E. Elderling, Nicholas Van Handel, Theodore Weiss, Joseph Immerman, Frederick Dallas, William J. Christian, Anthony Bonaducci, Korea, Joseph Paul Van Hook, John J. Youngsman, Vietnam, Roderick J. Vance, Robert C. Hauser, 
Patrick F. Campbell, Alan P. Gelb, John M. Lamana, Lawrence W. Manherda, Officer today, return the commanders to their units. Officer today, call the unit to attention and proceed with the rendering of the volley by the firing squad and the playing of taps. Band director, selling the national anthem. Flag officer, raise the flag to full staff during the anthem.
Sir, orders have been rendered. Officer today, bring your units to order arms and parade rest. At this time, I want to bring your attention to our Grand Marshal, Rudy Williamson. Rudy has served not only the American Legion, but also the Veterans Council for over 15 years. He's he served as adjutant and also as their treasurer. And Rudy was also instrumental in ensuring that the paver project in front of the municipal building was finished after the passing of the late Jim Storrs. And he has also done many other services on behalf of the council. And Rudy, I want to call you forward. I want to present to you this play. This is a great honor that has been bestowed upon me, and I thank you very much. We welcome all the people that have come to visit here today to do honor to our veterans, both living and dead. And we hope that you never forget us, as we will never forget you and the duty that we have to our country. Thank you again. Introduce Pastor Boone for the benediction. Will you bow with me? Now we pray that our God will watch over our nation, bless our leaders, bless each and every citizen of this great country, and bless all of our veterans, those who have gone on before, and those that are still with us. May you watch over us, guide and protect us, and keep us strong, we pray in your holy name. Amen. Passion review.
right shoulder. Oh. I thank you for attending our ceremonies on what turned out to be a beautiful day. Thank you.